ready? Yes, we are. Thank you. So how was the flight? It was all okay. They told you not to touch them. How's your mood? Um, it's great. We are ready to work. We're excited. Oh, we're just very excited to be here and uh, start the process towards launch. How was your flight here? It was a good flight. Despite that it, the weather was so bad in Moscow, the flight was good. And it's good here. Well, we knew where we were flying. Thank you. Thank you. And now? <laughs> Try doing it at the same time. Raise the flags, please. Another astronaut that had a similar background as me, Bill Shepard, who happened to be the commander of the first expedition on the space station, was uh, the person that motivated me to apply and become an astronaut. Well, uh, it's fantastic work. We all really love what we do to fly in space, and it's a really special opportunity that we get to have as individuals, and we wish we could share the whole great experience with everybody that, uh, that loves space like we do. Alexander and Chris, you really like basketball. And are you planning on playing on board the station? Because we've heard that they actually played soccer. On uh, it's a good idea. We should. We should implement it. We both like CSKA. Spaceship. I can't wait to fly it. Thank you. 
Is everything all right? Photo. Photo opportunity. Well, Billy. The monkeys. All right. The lower one, the lower one. <laughs> what for? This one. You press this one down. From the very beginning? No. Please stand by. Hold on. That's it. That's it. One, two, three, four, five. Вообще на какой протон есть? Ну протон стоит. Пришли. Oh yes, that's right. Well, as they told us, that's how we'll be pla planting them. Take each a, a tree with this shovel. Yes, with this shovel. <laughs> like all three of us? Oh yeah. <laughs> like this? <laughs> well, you asked for it, Natasha. Which way? This way? Oh, let's see. Do we need some water? Let me put some water in there. Hold on. Looks good. It'll grow up. Okay. We'll finish it up in the evening. <laughs> well, come here when, when nobody's here, it's quiet, and finish it all. <laughs> Do we have a little bit jam left? Alexander, tell us, have you been dreaming about planting a space tree for a while? To be honest. What's up here? I don't know. Well, I guess you are very experienced. Great. Uh, do you remember when you actually planted it? Yes. Natalia? Of course. 
So you just participated in... So we were here at the tree planting on this uh, famous pathway here. It's really special to be here. It's media day. Right? Media day. We're about halfway. We've got uh, seven days or so until launch. A week from today, we'll be waking up on launch day. So it's pretty exciting. And uh, we've been having a good time so far. Yeah, it's been great. Uh, you know, I'm here as a backup, and uh, it's been it's been fantastic to watch uh, Chris as he goes through all the process of getting ready for his launch. Well, practically it was impossible. That's why one of those priority experiments is rather technical, scientific, but it will let us understand how such a big station, space station, um, reacts to electric and magnetic fields of the Earth and atmosphere from the atmosphere and later we will be able to um, uh, create uh, new satellites and stations better. They don't participate in on a daily basis. They're ongoing and, and they just can continue themselves. There are several that we have to participate with it getting it activated. And uh, and then it'll the specialists on the ground will take care of those. And then there are other types of experiments that we have an active part in on a particular day or a series of days where we're executing those uh, procedures to make the science happen. And uh, there's just a vast array, an international um, a range, a array of, um, of experiments that are happening on board the space station. Can't wait to get up there and be part of it. Well, for our launch, um, it's going to be a night launch, and we'll have to work before and after, and our um, medical services recommended that, um, well, maybe one or two days is okay from the uh, physiological um, point of view, but we're getting used to that nocturnal life. <laughs> All right. Is that it? Yes, we're going up to the second floor. Expedited, fast approach and docking. It's using two now. Uh, the speed is pretty high. Exactly. <laughs> They're all cue balls yeah. here in, in Baikonur. <laughs> <laughs> like grandfathers, right? It's not your standard billiards table that we have in the United States. The pockets are, are just barely wider than the cue ball, or, and they all look like cue balls. You can hit any ball you want in. I don't, we don't really know exactly the rules, but we're giving it a try. Of course. What if it goes like this? <laughs> all right. When you try to finish it like this. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Who is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Let's decide who will fight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's very personal, Natasha. Look at them playing. Mode. So we're behind the scenes inside Media Day, press day here at, at uh, Baikonur. As you can see, Pavel's doing his spinning chair, and uh, we're in the room where we'll do orthostole in this spinning chair once a day uh, leading up to the, to the flight. Start. Start. 
Speed. We have reached the set speed. Hold the head straight. Fifty. Yeah, so